Hi everyone, how's you guys? We have Kal Pataru Mitra with us, who has secured a very uh, good rank in GPAT and Niper. And today, he will tell us how he did the GPAT ki strategy, how he did the stress management, and many other things. So, listen to the interview and you will get a lot of inspiration. And key points are going to be very good. So, first of all, I will ask you a first question. Can you please introduce yourself? So, hello everyone. I am Kal Pataru Mitra. I am from Bodhaman, West Bengal. Uh, I have completed my GPAT in BCA College of Pharmacy, Dugapur. I have cleared GPAT with All India Rank 343 and I have also cleared the NIPAR JE exam with the All India Rank 22. Okay, great. Yeah, great. I think that's a very great rank because considering how GPAT was this year, you have secured a very like yes, absolutely great rank. Absolutely great rank. Now, I want to ask you one Thank question you, that uh, what are your hobbies? Like, I know you are a very studious student. That's for sure because you have secured a great rank but I want to know uh, what do you, do you do in free time? Sir, I enjoy reading uh, different types of books, okay? And I also like photography and love to do cooking stuffs like that. So, let's see. Okay, okay, great, yeah. So, now you can tell me what is your favorite subject that you like. And this is like that you have to learn a lot. Do you like that? Sir, uh, so, to pharmacology is my favorite subject. But I have different subjects. So, there is no such thing that this particular subject is my favorite. Pharmacology, you can say that. So, speed okay. up. So, all you want to say that is that you have curiosity for different different subjects. That you want to, you know, yes, uh, gain a lot of knowledge. But considering that, Kology is your best, you know, favorite subject. Yes, so, yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Yes. Chalo, my next question is because this is very important. That you have started your GPAT preparation cup. So, during my sixth semester, I have started for preparing the GPAT. Then, from then, अपॉर्चुनिटीज है तो मेरे ख्याल से वो अपॉर्चुनिटी ग्रैप करने के लिए सबको जीपैट जो फार्मा एक्सपीरियंस है उसको जीपैट देना ही चाहिए ओके तो नेक्स्ट सर जो एक्सपोजर मिलता है बड़े बड़े इंस्टीट्यूट में तो वो एक की रोल प्ले कर जाता है लाइफ में तो इसलिए मैं सोचता हूँ कि हर एक फार्म एक्सपीरियंस को जीपैट देना ही चाहिए ओके 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 so basically you want to say that when you crack GPAT exam you have more opportunities as compared to others yes sir okay okay great uh, next question I want to ask you know you and I just want answer in detail because you have secured a very beautiful rank and I just want to ask what was strategy kya thi, GPAT sir day? if I come to a strategy there are different strategies okay for different subjects for uh, pharmaceuticals I must say that there are several questions come every year like 38 questions every year so so you have to prepare very well in pharmaceuticals like you have to keep your concepts clear from the starting okay and you have to prepare the past year questions and analyze the questions and the where from where the questions are coming every year repeatedly so you have to focus on that particular topics first and uh, then you have to invest your time morely in that topics thus you will utilize your time fully okay and uh, this is the thing and this is not only for pharmaceuticals this is all, for all the subjects i will come um, one by one for like pharmaceutical chemistry uh, i would suggest to focus more on organic chemistry rather than the medicinal chemistry part because in the organic chemistry part 10 to 15 question approximately come in every year and that question the questions from organic chemistry came uh, are very deep and uh, you have to uh, keep your basics very very clear from the starting and uh, i will suggest to invest time of the medicinal chemistry in the organic chemistry only and I am not trying to say that uh, you keep skipping the medicinal chemistry fully but do medicinal chemistry but very superficially and I am trying to suggest uh, invest your time in organic chemistry mean there's a thing and uh, in, if i come to the pharmacology part uh, the some medicinal plants are very important so you focus on medicinal plant part and the chemical tests are very important so uh, and read very selectively from pharmacology part don't give uh, don't go deeply like line by line from the pocket no not like that okay so uh, very briefly and selectively superficially you have to study the pharmacognosy okay so if i next come to the minor subjects like uh, biochemistry biotechnology students so refer the previous year questions and you will get from the topics from where the questions are coming every year so i prefer to prepare these subjects in the last three months that's why okay so time so so time time waste karna chata tha. Toh, wo time subjects pe diya tha. Toh, tum bhi aisa kar sakte ho. So, that's 
uh, and uh, if i come to the solving questions the question solving is playing the major role these days okay because different types of question you know in the in this year uh, different types of questions and some questions we are never heard about okay so these yeah. questions coming so you have to prepare for all ha uh, jo jo aayega dekha jayega but aapko sabke liye prepare rehna chahiye theek hai because the questions are going through it okay so coming to the attempting number uh, how much question you should attempt like one should attempt at least 80 questions okay so that's that should be the minimum number okay so coming to time management time management thing is very crucial in the gpat don't give too much time to one particular question because this this will uh, in, uh, end up you giving a uh, very little uh, time for the rest of the questions so be very conscious about the time so this is a thing and uh, uh, for mistakes i must say that deeply go through your mistakes for every mock test the mistakes you have done in the previous test should not be repeated in the next test okay so you have to be very conscious about that i have done a uh, thing uh, you can repeat that i have uh, made a, a particular mistake copy where i have written my mistakes in of every test and i keep visiting the mistakes at regular time basis so you can do that also okay it helped me a lot and please please do uh, revising the tests give three hour every day in the last 30 days to practice the mock tests okay only on honestly it it will help you a lot okay so these are things and uh, that's it sir okay okay great uh, now coming to the next question which is about the reference books so do you think okay we should be using all the reference books or we should be using some of them or should we you know not use them at all reference book ke liye sir maine jo latchman tha jo sab log prefer karte hai line by line padhne ke liye wo padhna chahiye but only for the things which are very important like tablets capsules ointments uh, things like that so sab kuch padhna nahi hai latchman se wo pura book line by line hai waise nahi okay jo important topics hai wo bas line by line padhna hai kyunki wahan se deep question aata तो वो आपको फाइंड आउट करना पड़ेगा प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन से इफ आई कम टू द फार्माकोलॉजी एक एक्सपीरियन को पहले जो केरिटी का बुक है वो बुक दो तीन बार पढ़नी चाहिए एटलीस्ट फिर रिविजन के वक्त उसको केरिटी का जो क्लासिफिकेशन का जो एक बुक आता है तो उसको रेफर करना चाहिए ठीक है वो बहुत हेल्प करता है और उसको रेगुलर टाइम के बेसिस पर ना रिविजन करना चाहिए मिनिमम 15 टू 20 टाइम्स मिनिमम रिविजन चाहिए उसका इच इच ड्रग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द क्लासिफिकेशन बुक ओके सो दैट्स इट एंड फॉर कॉग्नोसी आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड दैट टू विजिट द कोकाटे बुक वेरी ब्रीफली एंड सिलेक्टिवली द पार्ट which you will which you need just study that not anything else or not anything more okay and uh, for minor subjects i honestly didn't refer uh, any particular book or standard books okay i referred slide share youtube uh, youtube channel so uh, that's how i prepared for the minor subjects and jurisprudence all, also the same like that okay so that's it sir okay okay now next question is like very important uh, when we are doing preparation since long time like we are preparing for one year two years there some be must time when we are you know broken when we need motivation when we are under stress to aap usko kaise handle karte the kya stress hai to usko aise handle karna hai motivated rehna to uske liye aapka kya tarika rehta tha sir stress ko jhelne ke liye ek hi mantra hai ki आउटकम पे फोकस कभी नहीं करना है आउटकम जो होगा वो आपके हाथ में नहीं है जो आपके हाथ में नहीं है वो उस पर अगर आप टाइम वेस्ट करोगे तो जो आपके हाथ में है उस पर कब टाइम दोगे ना तो टाइम लिमिटेड है ये आपको मानना पड़ेगा और इस टाइम को आपको यूटिलाइज करना पड़ेगा सो फोकस ऑन द एक्शन इज इन योर हैंड ओके डोंट फोकस ऑन द आउटकम्स दैट सीट आई हैव ऑल टू से एंड फॉर द मोटिवेशन पार्ट सी मोटिवेशन इज अ रोल आई मस्ट से बट ओनली इन द इनिशियल फेज बट इट्स द डिसिप्लिन विथ which keeps you going throughout the preparation journey so uh, that's the thing and your why should be very clear so uh, why you started the preparation what's the purpose behind it so from the day one that this question and the answer of it must be clear to you so so that you never lose hope or like that something you would mock test gone wrong but um, you are like demotivated not be like that so you have to uh, track that okay आगे क्या होने वाला है योर परफॉर्मेंस विल गो डाउन और हिंदी में ऐसा एक ऐसी लाइन है फल की चिंता मत करो बस कर्म करते चलो यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट द रिजल्ट इफ यू फोकस मोर अबाउट इट एंड आई वॉज वॉचिंग एम एस धोनी को सब जानते हैं और शायद उनका आज उनका बर्थडे भी है तो मैं उनका इंटरव्यू देख रहा था तो उनसे पूछा गया ये क्वेश्चन कि आप इतने सक्सेसफुल क्यों हैं यू नो आप बहुत सारे कैप्टन हैं आप इतने सक्सेसफुल क्यों हैं आपका सक्सेस मंत्र क्या है 
तो उन्होंने सेम चीज बोली थी कि मैं रिजल्ट के बारे में सोचता ही नहीं हूँ बस ये सोचता हूँ कि जो मैं अभी कर रहा हूँ उसको मैं कैसे बेस्ट कर सकता हूँ रिजल्ट जो होना है वो होगा मेरे कंट्रोल में नहीं है यू नो तो एक काफी सिंपल मंत्र है लेकिन ये लोग मतलब ये चीज है की इसको हम समझने में बहुत टाइम लगा देते हैं लेकिन बड़ी सिंपल सी लाइन है और जितना जल्दी हम समझ जाए उतना बढ़िया है क्योंकि लाइफ में यार अभी एग्जाम्स है लेकिन बाद में और भी चीजें आएंगी करियर है जॉब से और भी चीजें आएंगी तो हमेशा मोमेंट हाँ वही चीज है कालोदा हाँ और ऐसे एक क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहता हूँ और इसके बाद फिर हम एंड करेंगे की आपकी क्या एडवाइस है आने वाले एक्सपायरेंट्स के लिए कैसे प्रिपेयर करने के लिए सक्सेस एंड वन थिंग इज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू गाइज फ्रॉम द होल सिलेबस ऑफ द जी पैट सेवन फ्रॉम द सेवेंटी परसेंट सिलेबस मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग so track that particular portion of the syllabus okay so that you will end up getting good marks in the exam and the rest 30% will boost your rank only but the uh, previous 70% of the syllabus will boost boost your qualification so first uh, assure your qualification then chase for rank okay so that's the thing i want to say and casting uh, the temperament and the self confidence stuff that, that will play a big role in the uh, preparation stage also in the exam day so uh, keep preparation for that particular thing on the day one hmm. it will help you a lot so uh, that's the thing sir okay okay तो यहाँ पे एक लाइन बोली थी सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस तो मैंने जब मैं सेशंस लेता था तो मैंने ये मैं बात हमेशा बोलता था काफी सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं जब वो जाते हैं एग्जाम में तो जब जैसे मैंने जब एग्जाम दिया था तो मैंने काफी सारी चीजें नहीं पढ़ी थी होता है कि यार यू you नो know, चार साल का सिलेबस है तो कुछ ना कुछ छूट ही जाता है लेकिन जब एग्जाम देने गया तो बस मेरे को ये था कि यार मैं सबसे अच्छा करने वाला हूँ तो इससे तो कॉन्फिडेंस होता है ना वो तीन चार क्वेश्चन एक्स्ट्रा करा देता है कॉन्फिडेंस होना बहुत जरूरी है अगर आप टेंशन में हो कि यार मेरा वो टॉपिक रह गया है लेकिन आप ये नहीं देख रहे हो कि आपने इतना सारा पढ़ा हुआ है आप उस पर फोकस करो कि आपने कितना पढ़ा हुआ है और वहीं से मार्क्स बनने वाले हैं। यू नो हैविंग अ पॉजिटिव माइंड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम्स और अभी कल बता रहे हैं ये तुम तो हां सही ये तुम तो आपसे ही सीखा है मैंने ठीक है जो अरे थैंक यू सोशल कॉन्फिडेंस पार्ट है जो मोटिवेशन आप आप प्रोवाइड किए थे थ्रू द जर्नी वाज वेरी प्रेशियस फॉर मी एंड दैट्स इट सेड हां मैं लास्ट में कल पता और के बारे में बोलना चाहता हूं कि ट्रस्ट मी कल पता और इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट हार्ड वर्किंग स्टूडेंट दैट आई हैव एवर मेट इन माय लाइफ फील नाउ वो बहुत लाइक is very very hard working you know hamesha lage rehna kon kar karna cheezon ko ki yaar you know padhna hai padhna hai discipline rehna cheezon mein to wo i think sabse khaas baat hai kal patar ke bare mein he is very very hard working and i'm glad he is coming to naipur very soon we are like i'm waiting for you yes sir i'm going to meet you very soon because the, from the last september last year september you were guiding me a lot about the total journey okay so and the mock test you have Uh, was very very helpful for me and uh, uh, give me a new path to success thank you so much yaar so i just feel that uh, the all the hard work that you did i just you know gave my 1% you know i said that day only 99% 99 for 99 was your only so it's great and i would love to see you in hyper mall and uh, see you soon brother and thank you so much <laughs> for that you know kafi sa aapne kafi sare detail mein pata hai you know segregate kara major minor thank you so much isse kafi aspirants ko help hoga jab wo apni preparation start karenge ya fir wo agar mid pe honge so thank you so much yes sir I, basically sir i i was uh, facing the same problem during my preparation days so i don't want that the future aspirants don't get that problem okay so uh, you help me and i helping the students uh, the my my juniors basically और अगर आपको और इंटरव्यूज हम करने वाले हैं लेकिन ये वाला इंटरव्यू प्लीज आप पूरा देखना आप तक तो एंड में आगे होंगे लेकिन मैं डाल दूंगा ये लाइन पूरा क्योंकि काल पता उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी बातें कही इसके अंदर पढ़ाई को लेकर भी और मोटिवेशन को लेकर भी और स्ट्रेस को लेकर भी खासकर वो लाइन की बिलीव इन एक्शन डोंट बिलीव इन फ्यूचर रिजल्ट वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है तो थैंक यू सो मच हाउ दारू अगेन एंड वी आर एंडिंग दिस इंटरव्यू और मैं आप लोगों के साथ मिलता हूँ नेक्स्ट वीडियो में विद नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू और वहां से भी हम कुछ नई सीए सीखने वाले हैं थैंक यू सो मच